there's a good chance you've heard of Red Faction before uh, because it's been out for a while already for the PlayStation 2. Uh, this review is of the new PC version. It's, it's pretty much the same game. It's a first-person shooter that takes place uh, on Mars. The, the plot of the game is similar uh, to, the, to the Paul Verhoeven film a Total Recall. It's uh, sort of a big um, Martian uh, rebellion against a, against a horrible totalitarian company and where you get to take up arms against these uh, these evil corporate lackeys. Um, the main difference between the PC version and the PlayStation 2 version is that uh, the PC version runs at higher resolution. It also adds uh, more multiplayer features, including a 32-player mode uh, that supports deathmatch and team deathmatch and capture the flag uh, modes of play and has plenty of maps for, for, for any of these. Um, uh, otherwise, it's it's pretty much identical to the to the game that was released in May for the PlayStation 2. Uh, the difference is on the PC, uh, Red Faction has a lot of stiff competition it needs to compete against. And in that case, it's going to have a harder time trying to distinguish itself because the game's uh, sci-fi theme and its various weapons and uh, its enemies and its uh, level design are all uh, rather typical of, uh, of the shooter genre. So depending on how many other shooters you've played in the past, games like Half-Life and Unreal Tournament and uh, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force, uh, among plenty of others, if, if you're already used to games like this, then you'll find that uh, Red Faction for the PC offers a lot of the same territory. The game does have a lot of its own uh, unique features, and it's it's questionable whether these really distinguish it from other shooters that have come before it. But they're certainly worth mentioning. Uh, the the highly touted Geo Mod system, as as the developers' volition call it, um, it basically lets you blow holes through the environment, uh, which which you normally can't do in other games. Other games let you you know shoot bullet holes into walls and stuff. Well, this lets you blow up the walls completely. Uh, in certain specific areas, so you can you can get your big rocket launcher, and you might come come up against a locked door or something. And rather than try to find a key for it, and uh, actually you rarely have to find keys in Red Faction. Uh, instead, you can just send a few rockets into like the cavern wall next to the door, and that'll create a nice little opening for you. It's a it's a pretty nice effect, and it actually. It's used with surprising restraint in the game. It's actually used quite rarely. It figures more prominently into the, into some of the multiplayer maps, actually, such as uh, in the capture the flag levels, where you have your two team bases on either side, and rather than have to navigate a bunch of corridors to get to uh, to get to the uh, opposing team's flag, you can just sort of take your giant rocket launcher once again and kind of cut a path. So th that's a, a rather interesting element. In addition to that. Red Faction lets you commandeer uh, five different vehicles, and uh, the, these look quite cool. They're, they kind of run, run the sci-fi gamut from kind of armored personnel carriers and like drilling vehicles all the way on up to like submarines and, and flying cars, uh, all, all armed with various weapons and so on, and you see the, the view from the perspective of these different vehicles when you're in them. It's not that it's not that complex of a simulation, but it, 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 it's a nice way of breaking up the gameplay uh, through the single-player levels, um, and, and it lets you uh, really, really take care of uh, a lot more bad guys than you normally could. Um, besides the vehicles, Red Faction has uh, more than a dozen different weapons, um, including all the, all the mainstays of shooters. You've got pistols and shotguns and sniper rifles and rocket launchers and grenades and uh, a flamethrower and uh, a railgun and uh, that that uh, pretty much covers it. You, you get a nice cle clear riot shield that can deflect bullets also. Um, they all have secondary firing modes. You can zoom in with the with the sniper rifle, uh, rifles and so on. Uh, they uh, All the weapons look good and they uh, they for the most part sound good too. They're a little bit straightforward. You've probably seen them all in other shooters. Um, one problem uh, with the with the sniping weapons is that your, your aim stays perfectly steady when you zoom in all the way with them, so the reticle will stay perfectly still, and it makes uh, kind of lining up long-range headshots all too easy. Um, and uh, otherwise, some of the weapons are, are rather underpowered, uh, such as the shotgun that, 
these weapons are like too slow to reload. Um, so you'll find that uh, even though the game has uh, about 15 weapons in it, you'll really come to rely on just a handful of them. And and the only time you'll switch to other ones is you know when you're when you happen to be running low on ammo. Uh, the single player levels in Red Faction are are, are pretty diverse um, in in some ways, and then not so much in others. All the all the sort of Martian cavernous or corporate environments are, again, the sort of stuff you've probably seen before in other sci-fi games. Um, on, on the other hand, uh, there, there is a fair bit of variety in the gameplay. There, there are some stealth levels, and you hop in the vehicles, and you swim underwater, stuff like that. So, so it, you know, it certainly doesn't get boring, and if anything, it, it, it all ends uh, a little too quickly after, uh, after about 10 hours. So Red Faction isn't a particularly long game either. There's some replay value in that uh, it has multiple difficulty settings and the like, um, but the levels are scripted pretty tightly, so they'll all be uh, pretty much the same if you if you attempt them on multiple tries. So altogether, Red Faction is is really a, a very solid shooter. It it looks good, it sounds good. Um, the the levels are varied. It's it's got some unique features to it. But uh, on the other hand, if you're sort of uh, expecting a, a shooter to, to surprise you and you've played a lot of other ones, then Red Faction probably won't do the trick for you. Um, and, and, even its, and even its multiplayer mode you know, won't, won't be too drastically different from, from what you've been accustomed to. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a perfectly, uh, it's a perfectly good game to add to your collection if you like uh, shooters in general and, and don't expect anything from them that you haven't already seen before. Um, and uh, and ultimately, it's uh, it's superior in a lot of ways to the PlayStation 2 version, uh, thanks to its uh, higher resolution graphics and um, uh, and its better multiplayer mode. So it's um, it's another good offering from uh, the the talented team at Volition Software, who also made games like uh, Free Space 2 and and Summoner more recently. Uh, and uh, it, it's just a, it's just a bit unfortunate that it doesn't have uh, the same sort of sense of creativity to it that, that those other games did. But uh, then again, shooters aren't really a genre particularly known for their creativity, and again, if you don't uh, expect too much out of it, then Red Faction will probably be right up your alley.